Kane are beginning to affect the Jacksonville area. As a result, the City of Jacksonville Emergency Operations Center remains activated. As you see, many of our state and local partners are with us tonight, and we will continue to collaborate with them to ensure that information and updates are provided. Uh, several points we want to make uh, at this time. Uh, Duval County remains under a tropical storm warning and an area flood watch. A tornado watch has also been issued, which will remain into effect uh, until 11 p.m. this evening. Uh, conditions are expected to impact the Jacksonville area overnight, including uh, heavy rainfall, uh, strong tropical storm winds, storm surges, flooding, and isolated tornadoes. Citizens should stay informed and updated on the storm's progress through radio, television, and the city's website at www.coj.net. Uh, currently, there are no mandatory evacuations in effect for Duval County, and the EOC and JSO recommend that citizens stay home and off the roads. Uh, if citizens have special needs and believe they are unsafe in their homes, they are encouraged to call 630-CITY, that is 630-2489, uh, for shelter information. The 630-CITY Customer Call Center uh, has extended to serve citizens uh, throughout the night, and citizens can reach the center once again at 630-2489 to report issues or request information. Uh, city offices and facilities will be closed tomorrow on Friday. Only essential personnel should report to work as directed by their supervisors. A few hours ago, Mayor Curry participated in a safety briefing with the emergency road access teams at one of our five fire stations as our emergency personnel are being encouraged to uh, exercise caution. We're advising our citizens to do the same. Uh, as a footnote, uh, we ask that you not place garbage on the curb tomorrow, but wait until Saturday so that it can be collected. Uh, now I'd now like to introduce uh, Director Michelle Cook from JSO. Good evening. I am Director Michelle Cook, and I'm with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Public safety is our number one priority, and to contribute to that, we're asking the public tonight to please uh, stay indoors, stay in your house. Please do not go driving around. This applies to tomorrow morning as well. Uh, we would encourage uh, citizens not to go out uh, and, and look around. Let us let the professionals go out there and do the damage assessments, and we'll let everybody know when it's safe to go out and to drive. If you have to drive tonight, we ask that you please be careful. Treat any malfunctioning traffic light as a four-way stop. Please do not drive through any standing water. And keep an eye out on our social media sites for any bridge closures. We're going to take those uh, as they come up, and bridges may be open and closed several times during the night. In addition to our routine patrol officers that are out there handling calls for service tonight, we have over 100 officers out there now dedicated to handling storm-related calls. At 3 a.m. this morning, we'll have an additional 120 officers coming in to assist with that. I'd like to thank the families of our first responders and public servants who are out there working tonight. I know the families are at home alone, and we can't thank you enough for your dedication. To all the first responders and public servants that are out there working tonight, we ask that you please stay safe. Of course, if you have any emergencies, please call 911. Otherwise, we are encouraging citizens to call 630-CITY, 630-2489. Again, everyone stay safe tonight, and we'll update you in the morning. I would now like to introduce uh, Ed Dender from JEA. Good evening. I'm Ed Dendor, Director of Emergency Preparedness for JEA. Uh, currently, we have uh, two outages, each affecting fewer than five customers. Our call takers are available and will be there through the evening. Uh, our downtown customer business office tomorrow will reopen at 1 in the afternoon on Friday. And uh, at 5 o'clock this evening, JEA's Emergency Operations Center was activated to an elevated level of operational emergency, level 2. We currently have four crews working on outages throughout the night or until the winds get too high. On Friday, JEA will have 24 four to five man crews, uh, line crews, 20 troubleshooter crews, and additional con uh, contract crews uh, will be rolling out. Uh, we've made contact with our mutual aid folks 
uh, but those crews have not been requested at this time. To support the restoration, we also have 65 tree trimming and cutter crews. JEA's wastewater and water uh, crews are fully staffed tomorrow and uh, able to respond to the storm. I want to reiterate to everybody to please be careful and do not approach any downed power lines. Be safe, be smart. And to stay current, go to JEA.com to refer to our outage maps. Thank you. Hello, my name is uh, Colin Malloy. I am the Safety and Security Manager with the Jacksonville Transportation Authority. Um, as an update, uh, JTA is currently operating normal service. Um, however, if you depend on JTA service as your primary means of transportation tonight, we highly recommend that you reach one of our buses by midnight. Um, weather conditions will be rapidly deteriorating after midnight, and JTA cannot guarantee a trip back after midnight. Weather permitting, again, buses will operate on a Sunday schedule, um, effective tomorrow. Uh, the coverage is similar to weekday service for regular buses, but with less frequency. The Beaches Trolley and Riverside Avondale Night Trolley will not operate tomorrow, Friday, September 2nd. Please visit www.jtafla.com to see the Sunday schedule for each route. The St. John's River Ferry will be closed tomorrow. Connection, our paratransit service, will be available tonight and tomorrow on a life-sustaining trips only. Weather permitting, connection will be available for regular service on Saturday and Sunday. At this time, the Skyway will operate as normal, again, weather permitting. For more information, please call JTA's customer service at 630-3100. Thank you. Good evening, Jim Crosby, the Chief at Animal Care and Protective Services. We have uh, the shelter on Forest Street secured. Uh, our animal control officers are standing by to assist JSO or JFRD if there's any rescue needs. Other than that, what we'd ask people to do is to please, please bring your animals in tonight and tomorrow. Do not let them loose. They will not be all right. Please plan that if you have to evacuate, you have your paperwork and any medications or special food that your pets need close at hand. We don't want you looking around in the middle of the night in the dark for leashes and collars and other uh, items. Please think ahead and remember your pets need to be out of the storm into your care so that everybody is safe this evening. Thank you. All right, thank you. This is our uh, last briefing for this evening. Any critical updates uh, will be made available uh, through social media, web, and 630 City. Tomorrow's briefings are scheduled for 8.30 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. Thank you. Have a good evening and drive safely going home. If people do not feel safe in their homes, they can call 630 City and we'll help them make arrangements for the evening. We will find an accommodation for them for the evening. Yes. No, sir, I'm not going to speak to the shooting tonight. Thank you. Have a good evening.